previous three lectures we have already discussed how to find out arrival rate lambda how to find out service rate mu and how to find out the utilization rate now let us learn how to find out idle rate the probability that the system is idle and the average idle time of the server now first of all idle rate <coughs> idle rate is 1 minus rho or 1 minus utilization rate that is 1 minus lambda by mu that is 1 minus 6 by 10 that is 1 minus 0 0.6 that is 0.4 idle rate so idle rate is nothing it is complement to the utilization rate the summation of utilization rate and idle rate must be one okay now the second thing we have been asked is probability that the system is idle in simple word what is the probability that this system is idle that is nothing but the idle rate itself. So, this required probability equals to idle rate which we have already calculated. That means 0.4 is the probability that the system is idle. Now, average idle time of the server. Somewhat ambiguous question. Because to calculate average idle time, first of all, the time unit must be defined. Average idle time. That is nothing equals to idle rate into t. What value of t we are going to take? Suppose t equals to 1 r that is 60 minutes then average idle time will be 0.4 into 1 that is 0.4 r or 0.4 into 60 minutes that is 40 minutes so in an hour on an average 40 minutes the server will be idle we don't mean first 40 minutes or last 40 minutes or in between 40 minutes no but the summation of the minutes the server will be idle in an hour can be 40 but practically in each and every hour this is also not possible so let us take a higher or greater unit of time say 10 hour working day the whole Average working hours in a day can be assumed 10 hours. So, suppose T equals to 10 hours a working day. Then the average idle time will be 0.4 into 10 hours that is 4 hours. So, in a day made up of 10 working hours on an average the server will be idle for 4 hours again the server will be idle for first 4 hours last 4 hours uh, central 4 hours no interpretation is not like that the summation of the time the server remains idle during the day at the end of the day can be 4 hours few minutes in first hour, few minutes in second hour, maybe a full hour in between somewhere or a half an hour, but the summation of these various pockets of idle time will be four hours in a day. Again, practically it is not necessary that every day this happens, but this is long term average. If we study all these for so many days, and find the average of the results of idle time of various days that average can be very near to 4 hours or exactly 4 hours this is the 
interpretation and at the time of using all these in real life we have to consider all these things we have to keep all these these things in our mind ultimately statistics is the science based on averages that's it